Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Britta and you are watching Bits with Britta. Thank you so much for watching today. If you are new, please consider subscribing and pressing the little bell icon for notifications. Today, I am going to be telling you a little bit about how we are staying healthy at the house during this stay home order. We have had a really hard time finding some cleaning products that we need and some hand sanitizer and other products that we would like to have on hand. So we have decided to start making things on our own. On our own. So today we are using um, a couple of different products to make our own hand sanitizer. So today, all you would need to make your own hand sanitizer is you would need some aloe vera gel, if you can find it. We couldn't find any rubbing alcohol, so my husband got some alcohol from the liquor store, and this is 190 proof, 90 95% alcohol, and so this is like Everclear. And then you would just need some aromatherapy, some essential oils, and I use um, doTERRA, and I'm using lemon and I'm using peppermint today. So the first thing that you're going to do is you need one part aloe vera to two parts of the alcohol. So however much you're making, you just need to make sure that it's one part to two parts. Today, I'm not making a lot because I have made some in the past, in the last couple of days, and so now I just need a little bit more to show you guys. I'm gonna use one third cup of the aloe vera gel. So one third cup aloe vera gel. And then I need two thirds of the alcohol. Then today I'm going to add lemon and peppermint so it smells good. So I'm using essential oils. I'm gonna use three drops of peppermint and three drops of lemon. Sometimes they come out really fast, so you have to be careful. And then you just mix it together. Then when you're finished mixing, then there you have it. Then you have all of everything that you need for your own hand sanitizer. There's a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can either use an old hand sanitizer pump or you can get a spray bottle and just put your product in there. I really like having the spray because I think it works a little better as a spray and it smells wonderful and it keeps your hands nice and sanitized. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to make a mask. Here where we live right now, we have an order that we have to have a mask on anytime we are outside. So I made masks out of LuLaRue leggings. I am not a sewer by any stretch of the imagination. So since I can't sew, I needed something that I could make that was easy enough for me to just cut from fabric. So here is how to make a LuLaRue mask out of leggings. So you take the leg of your leggings and just kind of see how much material that you're gonna need. So you cut off the bottom. Then you have the bottom of your legging. You're going to need at least one and a half inches. You're gonna cut out of one side of each side of your mask. So I'm gonna cut one and a half inches from one side this is where your earpiece is gonna end up being. Doesn't have to be pretty, it just needs to be effective. Cut out an inch and a half from the other side. So now I have a section cut out on each side. Then I'm going to actually figure out where my ear needs to be placed. Make a small cut for your ear hole on both sides. And there you have it. And simple mask. That can be ready in minutes. 
So then it's easy to just take with you and then every time you need it, you can use it and then you can easily wash them in the washing machine every time you come back home. I hope that helped. Take care and I hope everyone is healthy.